to begin by November. Sports CS Ababu Namamba says the grounds have already been handed over to the Kenya Defence Forces after the Cabinet approved the renovation of the stadia that are expected to be ready by 2025. And as Francis Mutalaki reports from Beijing, China, China? Well, Lindsay Complex and Kirigiti Stadiums will host international matches for the Harambe Stars when the stadia are closed for renovations. Speaking in Beijing, China, after leading a Kenyan delegation in advancing an MOU between Kenya and China to explore areas of cooperation in arts, culture and tourism, Sports Cabinet Secretary Ababuna Mamba says construction works for Nyayo, Kasarani and Kipchoge Keino Stadia are expected to begin by November. This is after the cabinet approved the renovation works on Tuesday and facilities handed over to the Kenya Defence Forces. We can hide the fact that our sporting infrastructure is in Tatas, total Tatas. We've not made any serious investment in our sporting infrastructure for eon years. The last time we invested anything serious in infrastructure sport-wise is 30 years ago. Nyayo Stadium 83. Kasarani 87, that, that is 40 years ago. So it's about time we made some serious investment and we are ready to do that. We have rede redesigned Kasarani, we have redesigned Nyayo, we have redesigned Kipchoge Keino Study. While the renovation are ongoing, national football team the Harambe Stars will play their international matches at the Ulinzi Sports Complex in Nairobi and Kirigiti Stadium in Kembu County. A delegation from the Confederation of Africa Football CAF is expected to inspect the renovation works at the three stadia in 2025 to assess Kenya's preparedness ahead of the 2027 AFCON Championship. So I don't expect any challenge. People are asking, so who will host the opening ceremony? Yes. So who will host the final? Yes. So who will host the headquarters? So who will host the draw? Okay. <laughs> I can assure you that we will agree. The way we agreed to put together a winning bid jointly, we will agree to share those responsibilities. We believe that we, we will sit down, we will assess the capabilities of every capital, uh, and at the end of the day, remember this is a CAF event, so CAF makes the final call on the basis of, of, of many metrics. So we believe that based on the metrics that we will make objective decisions, who is capable to do what and what works best where. Kenya will have to battle it out with Tanzania and Uganda for the chance to host either the opening ceremony or the finals and the closing ceremony. CS Namamba says a number of factors will come into play before CAF makes the final decision. It will all depend on who is ahead in getting their facilities ready. Construction works for the much anticipated 60,000 seat Atalanta Stadium is expected to kick off before the end of the year. Namamba says the facility is a game changer in sports for talent identification in Kenya and the East African region. In the just concluded third China Ziyang Trans Himalaya Forum for International Cooperation, Kenya firmed up the areas of cooperation in exploring cultural identity and conservation, with China looking at capitalizing on high-altitude training areas for their athletes and boosting sports tourism for sports and leisure. Francis Mtalaki, Citizen TV, Beijing, China. The national men and women hockey teams of